1051 Rocks, James hanging out with local boys dearly departed. What's up? Yeah. How's it going? What's up, guys? Just hanging out. Yeah. Old as hell. You got the new music out. I mean, come on. Let's let's be honest. Let's dive right in. Oh, it rips, dude. It's it like takes it from our first record, Extinction, is is like not even. I don't think it's close to this one. It's so sick. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a pretty abrupt uh, difference from our first record to our second. We've uh, definitely stepped up not only in the writing process but the recording as well. It's amazing to me when you guys shared shared the new song with me and the last one too, Quiet Echoes. Like the production value is fantastic. Where do you get where where how does that production come about? Um, Jordan, yeah. <laughs> well, that's uh, it's. <sighs> It's kind of difficult. There's there's a lot of things that come into play regarding that just because there, there's a lot of different layers within everything. So it's not just a matter of working like in-house. It's also a matter of working with At people. Yeah, well, that, but like working with people outside of just the band as well for influence and ideas for helping build and structure the best piece of art that we can create. But you're not farming that out. You guys are doing all of it, right? For, for the most part. Yeah, yeah for the we most do a part. lot of it. We, we learned to, uh, the difference between this album and the last one is we learned to record ourselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we just are able to put in samples and samples and samples and kind of just make things sound the way mm -hmm. we want to before the studio, as opposed to just like going in blind and not knowing. Yeah. Um, it allows you to really dive in and kind of hear things that wouldn't normally... I'm just surprised like how clean it is at, and I don't mean this in like an offensive way but you know you think local band right you think a certain amount of quality that's going to be a lot lower than what you know you're getting from the major label artists right right that's not the case with these these songs that you guys are putting out and that's awesome yeah I'm actually flattered I actually like, thanks a lot no dude it's it's really cool and the thing about it is like do you guys feel like since you guys have been together since 2018 yeah. roughly 2018 yeah. so, is when we got started do you feel like the playing field is leveled a little bit? That stuff has gotten easier since you started to now to make the make the music sound the way you want? I think we should all answer that. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. It's, it's uh I felt like we didn't know what we were doing at all. Yeah. Before. And now it's like every little part of the song in these songs, it was intentional. Everything yeah. to the the little whispers in the background or a little piano part, like every little thing was done. For a specific reason, as opposed to the old songs where they're um, kind of just written as we jammed, and yeah, um, yeah. Now it just seems like we know what we're doing. Yes, yeah. I hope it seems that way. Getting better, man. It sounds good. <laughs> we've we've all matured a lot as musicians, as well as just people in general. Um, just so, like, by putting more of like our actual energy into it and being just how we've gone about it moving forward from our first album has been much more of a cohesive professional approach as opposed to hey this part sounds cool what do you have that works with this it's hey this entirety needs to sound cool not parts mm -hmm. so what do you guys feel like do you feel it feel like it's growing i mean do you feel like you're getting i mean better and better the following is getting bigger it's like we don't want to um we don't want to undertake anything unless it's gonna uh propel us forward mm -hmm. you know like we won't we just straight up won't finish the song if we feel like it's not going to be the strongest um because we don't write like 20 songs and then pick the five it's the ones that get done first sure <laughs> so, well yeah because it's tough you're you know you guys got to do it all yourselves there's no money backing so you guys all live here in fargo i'm guessing you all have real real jobs right yes yeah. yep right yep. so what, what do you do I work in rebar, like construction okay. type stuff. And you guys? I work at Target. I'm a closing manager. There. Nice. Nice. And uh, I, I work at a cabinet shop here in town. Yeah. Su yeah. Super rock star stuff. Well, know. every <laughs> single, but wouldn't you say every rock star has got that story at the start, right? Yep. Right? I mean, everybody's got to start doing working at McDonald's or whatever the case is, or Target or, you know, doing construction, just grinding, grinding, grinding. Yep. And it makes, I don't know. I mean, the music sounds great, man. It, it sounds as good as, and it's so cool that you're producing it all yourselves. And we've got an event coming up to uh, release the album. So tell me a little bit about the event. Event is this weekend. That's going to be at seven o'clock on Saturday at TAC Music Venue. Uh, it's that brand new venue in Dilworth. Uh, it's still in the FM area. It's, it's awesome. It's huge, pretty. The stage is brand new. Uh, tons of lights. Uh, we've got a couple new production things we're going to try out. Um, it's, we've got cold kingdom on that one. We've been wanting to work with them for a while. Their, their music is killer. I, I actually, yeah. I 
been telling them, hey, you should send your stuff to Q because it's so good. Have you? Uh, I don't know if you've seen them, but they. I haven't. Played, they've played. Uh, they played Moon Dance a few times, I yeah. believe. Yeah, they did a tour with Shine Down a couple of years ago. Oh yeah. I played with them with my old band, so like I've known those guys for a while. They're from here. Really get, they're from Minneapolis. Okay. Yeah. We've been wanting to work with them a whole bunch, and we started dabbling with uh, shows in Minneapolis this year. So it's and it's been actually really freaking great. I actually can't wait to go back next year. It's going to lead um, me to my next question. So I feel like rock music had kind of a lull for a while. Big lull. So everybody, everybody who we all talk in our circle, we all love it, right? No matter what it's at, we're gonna we're gonna listen to it, we're gonna consume it. But it feels yeah. like everybody kind of like the pop. Most people went away from it. The past 10, 12 years, probably. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like it's kind of coming back a little bit? You're talking about the energy at the shows in Minneapolis, stuff like that? Yeah, I, I, I definitely feel like there's a. I definitely feel like the um, rock and metal scene has started to um, see a resurgence. I least, think so too. At, at least it definitely feels like it has. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, that could just, you know, be what we've seen from our own events. Mm-hmm. Um, but it seems like, you know, just the rock and metal industry in general is starting to come back to life, which is great. I remember chatting with Alex a little bit, actually. I noticed that um, it wasn't like this when I was growing up. But lately, around here, it seems like everybody and their mother wants to start a metal band. Is that right? And and wants to go to, (laughs) like, local shows for, like, metal bands that aren't even, haven't been around very Mm -hmm. long or brand new are still, like, popping off. Yeah, there's a lot of underground bands that are doing stuff right now. It's really cool. Like, Phobophilic from here, they're a death metal band that is, like, going out and doing big things and... There's a lot of other cool things happening in the local scene for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, and they're always they're always packed. Like people are going to them. And, yeah, yeah and like 200 people will come to see a metal band that no one's ever heard. Right. Of. It's really <laughs> yeah, sick. it's crazy. And I'm like, wow. Like, yeah, and I don't know. I mean, it's a good thing, right? It's nice to hear. I was telling somebody I was interviewing a couple weeks ago. I was like, it's just nice to hear instruments in songs that a lot of people are listening to again because it's been a long time. Yeah. You know, um, and you kind of need that. You kind of need like the population to embrace it as a whole to kind of move it forward. So it's nice to see that it's getting the respect that we always knew it deserved. Yeah. Right. So uh, so then all of us who are lifers were like, yeah, we already knew this kicked ass. It's yeah. our- <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> yeah, we've you been know? saying. Yeah, we've yeah been exactly. Been saying this, and it also helps that the kind of the juggernauts of the industry are kind of doing that too. You know, mm. like uh, like Bring Me the Horizon going super poppy, but then you know now they're doing the metal stuff again yeah 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 i think the line between like pop and metal is definitely like being blurred a little bit mm-hmm. with people like bring me the horizon working with like ed sheeran and stuff yeah. like that yeah, yeah. It's that like, song was good uh, yeah i didn't mind that at all it's pretty good yeah. yeah we even dabbled with that a little bit in our uh new album too i remember i wanted to try and get some drag over some of the pop elements mm-hmm. so um i would study certain songs and like how to make these sounds and and i would uh posting uh, groups like Facebook groups online, like, Hey, how do you get this sound? How do you get this? How do you get that? And then I would do the best I can to kind of make it Mm -hmm. either with guitar or piano or some sort of synth or something like that. And then if I couldn't make it, I'd ask for help when we go to the studio, like, Hey, I need this particular sound. Um, which Jeremy just throws mm, together real quick. Yeah. He's like, (laughs) he's like, Oh yeah, that's like, that's, that's you. Oh, you mean That's, this? This <laughs> one plug-in? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It was wow. super easy. Five yeah. minutes. Yeah. So where do you guys record? Um, it's called All Poetic Audio in okay. Scotland, South Dakota. Scotland, South Dakota. Population I'm- five. <laughs> Literally five? <laughs> I don't know. Something. For real? It's like, like a few hundred at most. Really? It's yeah. pretty mellow. Shout out to Scotland. Can they hear us from here? Like, am I going to get in trouble for on talking the, about the small the, town? On the website, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell everybody from Scotland to listen. So it's like, yeah. we didn't make fun of you too much. Oh, we'll send it to Jeremy. We'll send it to Jeremy. <laughs> so how, how is requ- I mean, wh- how did you find out about Scotland, South Dakota? And how far is, away is it? About six hours. Okay. Yeah. And- it's a haul. Actually, before we started Dearly Departed, me and the singer, Jesse, uh, we had um, like this this band that I will admittedly say sucked. <laughs> and, <laughs> and we opened for Jeremy's band. And he's like, hey, do you guys need a... I have a studio. Do you guys need somewhere to record? And I still remember at the time, these, weren't, these aren't his rates or anything now, but I remember hearing like, yeah, it'll be like 300 a song or something like that. And we were like, 300? That's never going to happen. No, absolutely not. And now it's 
No, if you're spending under a grand, you're not getting quality. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. In Scotland, South Dakota. Bring yeah. it in. Is that the only business in town? Um, I don't no, know. No, they got a bar. Yeah, of course. They got a bar. I, I should have. I should have assumed there was a bar. I'm pretty sure there's a church. I don't know if that counts as a yeah. business, though. I, it depends yeah. on who you ask. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's probably three bars, let's be honest. Every one of those yeah. towns has got three bars. The bar, bar to church ratio is right where you want it. Yeah. Man. That uh, perfect in between. Exactly. I, I should add, we also recorded the other half in Kansas City. Um, oh, really? Three, yep. three of these songs we did in Kansas City. How many songs are on the album? Six. Awesome. So, Kansas City, what? how do you, how do you just end up like, hey, we're going to go to KC and finish this thing up? <laughs> That one Paul recommended yep. us to. Uh, he, he knew a guy, a producer. Uh, his name's Josh Barber, and he worked at B24. And uh, we hadn't worked with a producer before. And when I when I mentioned producer, that's kind of when you uh, when you have somebody kind of walk you through, like a coach for songwriting, mm-hmm. where it's like, hey, you guys, you're not doing that right here. You need to do that. They don't write it for you. But it's like they, uh, they definitely help structure things properly. They take out the uh, um, just like this, the the mush of it, for lack of better mm-hmm. words, and they clean it up a lot. And they help yeah. structure yep. it into a um, into a piece that actually is coherent and makes sense from beginning to end. Yeah, we want to just it helps us helped us find our sound a lot. So we did those ones in KC first, and then we went to Jeremy and did nice. the ones ourselves. And you can, um, and so it's the album release party. Obviously, you guys are going to be able to, you're going to play all the songs off the album? Yes. Yes? All of them, yep. And then you're going to have the album for sale? Yep. 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 There, we'll have uh, the physical copies of the record, too. We'll have some new shirts mm-hmm. that uh, we haven't sold before. Uh, we don't, we had a whole merch line, but that got wiped out from our past shows that we've mm. had the last few weeks. That's a good problem to have, right? Yeah. Uh, could be yeah? worse. You could pay, <laughs> pay the producer fees that way? Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome, man. So uh, this Saturday, this Saturday night at the TAC in uh, Dilworth, you can catch this event. Uh, we're doing a giveaway for tickets as well at the uh, Facebook page at Q105 and Rocks. Uh, we're going to get some com- more comments on there, and we're going to pick winners for that tomorrow. Guys, thank you for coming in. Yeah, hey, thanks for you. having us. Appreciate, Appreciate uh, you stopping by, and good luck with everything. It sounds great. We're going to play the song a few times here as well and make sure people get a little taste of it too leading up to the, to the show. So Hell yeah. Thank awesome. you.